Peace and love, you magnificent, beautiful miracles of a spiritual level of being. Nathan here from the spiritual level of being, and today I want to discuss something that some people are going to love, some people are going to like, some people are going to dislike or hate. Now, this is the difference between woke, wokeism, woke culture versus spirituality, the difference between them all. Now, wokeism is a ripoff of spirituality. Now, what is woke culture? This is everywhere you can't just label it as one group it's a bit of here a bit of this and all different mingles of people that often don't even agree with each other now woke culture is more lbgq based so gays lesbians transgender bisexual spirituality is for everyone now it's not Pushing your beliefs on others. Spirituality is against this. Wokeism is for this. Now, even with this whole transgender nonsense that's going around, it doesn't matter if you're transgender, you're gay, you're bisexual, you're straight. Be happy with who you are. But what I'm going to say this is transgenderism. Before transgender, it was cross-dressing. Now, transgender is an illusion. It's unawareness of oneself, separation to oneself. They're not happy with themselves. So they're removing certain body parts, taking hormones for the rest of their lives to become something that they're not. Now, it's okay to believe that you're something else if you want to believe you're female or you're male, whatever. Same as religion. But you can't push on other people. Other people are going to see you for what you are, either a male or female gay, bisexual, whichever. But this being said, I don't mean to be nasty, but this is just this. You weren't happy being gay or lesbian or bisexual. So you changed your body. You weren't happy with yourself. Spirituality is about accepting who you are. Being the best person of you that you can be, living the best human experience that you can possibly live. Not being in denial. Acknowledging the truth, being rational, compassionate and loving. So you love everyone regardless. You can hate the deeds that they do, but you love the soul regardless. We're all connected. All life is connected. Now, you can argue the point about hermaphrodites. In humans and certain animals, it's a condition. In, say, dogs, it can cause discomfort, pain, and if it's not treated, cancer. Now, in humans, it's a condition as well. Though it's different to dogs. But this being said, spirituality is about embracing who you are, bettering yourself, developing yourself, growing. It's not about gathering a whole bunch of crystals. This is also another part of woke culture. But as I said, there's many different varieties of what they call wokeism. Just be happy being spiritual, embracing yourself, moving on, forgiveness, development, growth. This is all the keys of spirituality. Some good things are in the woke culture, but this is because they've ripped off spiritual elements. The same as religion did. It's like veganism. You can pretty much be a religion, depending. There's some vegans out there that are great. I would not call them a religion at all. Groups like Peter, for instance. The one who started their organization drives around in leather seats in his Ferrari. But he tells other people not to wear leather. So, hypocritical. Out for money. Controlling the masses. Division. Spirituality is about unification. Coming together. It's okay to have different beliefs. But ultimately, it's about sharing and exchanging love and knowledge. Bettering oneself. So, bettering oneself. Development and growth. Your own personal path. Spirituality is your own personal path. Wokeism someone else's path is you following a whole bunch of people and their ideals so you all have to have the same opinion no different to religion otherwise you don't like each other spirituality you'll always find something to love about that person because you realize wherever there's another person there's an opportunity for kindness that's being said you're not going to like everyone there's going to be people that you dislike but you're going to forgive them for their actions or even your own actions so that means forgiving your own self in life, we're often very judgmental towards our own selves. 
and are seeking outside of ourselves. And this is the problem with wokeism, this encourages you to seek outside of yourself. Spirituality encourages you, so it encourages you to search from within. So peace and love everyone, I love you all. Connect to in one mind and soul. Namaste.